Hello? Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready now? Okay, gentlemen, uh, I see no lady there. Uh, there is. Eh? There is. <laughs> oh, it's, she, she's not yet ready. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, we have a statement uh, that is going to be read on our behalf by Honorable Eugene Wamalwa. Uh, this is the Azmio statement on police brutality. Today, Kenyans woke up to the reality of state sanctioned execution, injuries, and even theft by police on Kenyans who exercise their constitutional uh, protected rights to protest, to picket to assemble, and to present petitions. Across the country, families are mourning and preparing to bury their loved ones who are victims of murderous police officers. Many families are in hospitals, nursing loved ones who are injured by police. Tens of people have been hospitalized with gunshot wounds, arrows, and pangas. Some of the victims are very young school boys and girls who are not even involved in the demonstrations. Hundreds of people are also being detained in police cells or have been arraigned in court for participating in a process that is protected by our constitution. Among those in police custody is our very able member of parliament for Mavoko, the Honorable Patrick Macau, and as we speak, we've just learned of the arrest of the Honorable Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya. We demand immediate and unconditional dropping of all charges against Honorable Macau and Honorable Oparanya, who has been arrested just uh, this evening, and all those who are arrested for participating in a constitutionally protected action of protesting against punitive policies. We are here today to condemn the senseless brutality and state-sanctioned execution of civilians by police, which is becoming the new normal in Kenya. We are deeply concerned at the repeated instances of police brutality against innocent and law-abiding citizens. Yesterday, this brutality gained a new notoriety. Police not only fired bullets at citizens who were gathering for a rally in Kamkunji, far from the CBD, they also fired tear gas into a primary school right here in Nairobi, exposing to mortal danger our very innocent children who had absolutely no idea or who were not involved in any way in these demonstrations. The brutality is not ad hoc. It is coordinated. It is even ethnicized. A special ethnic-based killer squad has been formed within the larger police service to brutalize and carry out summary execution of citizens in the name of protecting what they have been made to believe is their regime. This squad is taking instructions from an equally ethnic-based command structure that operates outside the official channels of the police service. As if this is not enough, a killer squad that is not part of the police service is being activated to operate as part of the police to brutalize Kenyans. This squad was in its true element yesterday. They were firing at protesters from unmarked vehicles that we know belong to the police in places like Mlolongo and Kitengela. 
There were murders, injuries, arrests in as diverse places, including Machakos, Kisumu, Kisi, Busia, Wote, Emali, Meru, and Kilifi, among others. We are in the process of compiling complete data from across the nation on the victims of this operation and will share the same with the country in due course. These acts of brutality are running side by side with politically supported acts of ethnic profiling in parts of the country where ethnic-based militias are being formed and facilitated to attack other communities with crude weapons with the support of the state. It is happening right now in parts of Nyanza along the Kisi, Kericho, and Kisumu, Kericho borders. It is happening here in Nairobi too. Someone is working on a script of ethnic profiling, antagonism, and murder, much similar to what happened here in 1991, 1992, 1997, in the infamous tribal clashes, and also in the 2007-2008 period. The world has known of the butcher of Cambodia. This was before other butchers. Today, it will appear there is a butcher of Kenya in the making. We call on Kenyans to refuse to be intimidated in their own country. We urge Kenyans to be firm and to resist this deliberate effort to turn the National Police Service into a killer squad for, for hire by politicians and the regime suffering acutely from legitimacy deficit. We are going beyond merely condemning this pa uh, emerging pattern. We have instructed our lawyers to prepare and institute local proceedings against police officers who have gone against their duty of protecting life and property of Kenyans and instead have become a threat to the very citizens they are supposed to protect. In this regard, we are appealing to all Kenyans who have photographic or video evidence of police brutalizing citizens to share the same with us to aid the case that our legal team is working on. Going forward, we appeal to Kenyans to resort to citizen journalism and photograph and film state officers including police and politicians who in the course of duty abuse and brutalize their fellow citizens. Because the regime has decided to turn all institutions of the state against the citizens, we have no option but to act to protect ourselves. We are going for individual responsibility and culpability against individual officers. We are also going for individual culpability against police commanders whom we have reason to believe know or ought to know about the illegal actions of their officers under their command. We stand in solidarity with victims of this police brutality and their families. We will be visiting uh, from tomorrow and we will offer support to offset costs and help lessen the burden on the families. We have made a decision to observe five days of mourning in solidarity with the victims and their families, during which we'll try our level best to mobilize support to help lessen the burden on the families of the victims. But we are not giving up in our quest to force William Ruto, to lower the cost of living, to commit the audit of the 2022 elections, to bipartisan reconstitution of the IEBC, and respect for political parties, including the Jubilee Party. And this afternoon, we are pleased to learn of the High Court intervention where orders have been issued, and the legitimate Secretary General of Jubilee, the Honorable Jeremiah Keown, is here with us.
We'll give him a minute to share the good news with us. Consequently, we announce that our protests will resume on Wednesday, 19th July 2023. In the meantime, we proceed with the collection of signatures against Ruto on both digital and manual platforms. We notice the Communication Authority has joined the war against Kenyans by trying to cripple our digital signature collection platform. But we will fight and soldier on while we put CA on notice. We know that the KK regime has panicked and they are trying to block this process. There is no looking back. There is no turning back. We see you on Wednesday. Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, please deliver the good news on Jubilee. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Omarwa. As you are aware, or all of you are aware, during or early this week, we were treated to some drama within the political parties uh, dispute tribunal. Decisions that um, they arrived at were fairly uh, funny. We had uh, a majority of four agreeing with some uh, allegations that were put before them and a minority of three. But three things I want to say. One, that the, in the history of the tribunal, we have not seen a split decision. This was the first time that we had a decision of uh, three or four versus three. And it was also uh, the, the, the dissenting team also had an opportunity of presenting their case. But uh, that notwithstanding, we moved to the High Court this morning. And I'm pleased to, to inform you and all members of Jubilee and uh, Azmio fraternity as a whole that we were granted orders by the High Court this morning, this afternoon. And the orders are to the effect that everything that was done at the tribunal has been stayed. The officials of the party remain as was gazetted on the 22nd of March uh, 2022. And that... Um, even the special gazette notice that purported to call, uh, or let me just mention uh, number th 9131 of 2023 has also been stayed and will be in court uh, together on the 26th of July uh, this year. So this is uh, useful uh, to know that uh, within our system we still have uh, uh, parts of the judiciary that is... Uh, um, Judicious, and this is specifically the, the High Court. Uh, they are judicious and they are able to listen to issues. We will give you the copies of the orders so that you can actually see well written and well reasoned uh, decisions that come from some of the courts that we have. We want to thank the High Court judges and we also want to thank members of uh, Jubilee who have remained faithful. Musije mkataganywa watu wataliangalega hapa na kuringariga na kusema mambo mengi lakini tunajua kwamba mwisho ukweli utapatikana na kwamba jubilee will be part and parcel of Azimio and we want to thank our Azimio leader uh, party leader Raila Amolo Odinga and the principals because they have remained uh, truthful and uh, supportive of us as jubilee even during those very trying times multi party is at attack as the Ruto regime uh, keeps killing people, innocent people during peaceful demonstrations, they are also very keen on killing political parties that remain the voice of the voiceless. I thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I think before we conclude, uh, we know that there have been uh, some Kenya Kwanza people mourning louder than they believed. From yesterday, they've been issuing very strong statements saying Raila Odinga is killing Kenyans or is celebrating the killing of Kenyans. But Raila Odinga has been fighting for Kenyans. Those who have killed innocent Kenyans that we said in our statements are Ruto's officers. They're officers armed with ammunition and guns, gunshot wounds, 
are the cause of death that we have seen in many of the parts of this country. And we want to invite our leader to come and uh, speak to the nation. Karibu Mishpa. Kwanza nataka kuchukua fursa hii kutoa shukrani sana kwa wa Kenya kwa yale ambayo walifanya jana wa Kenya walijitokeza katika pembe zote za nchi yetu wazee vijana wakina mama wote walijitokeza kuonyesha kutokuwa na imani yao na serikali dhalimu ambayo inawanyanyasa na vile sisi tuliwaagiza wa Kenya walijitokeza kwa njia ya amani hakukuwa na fujo kila mahali walipojitokeza walikuwa wanaimba wakitembea vile imekubalika katika sheria zetu wa Kenya wana haki na uhuru ya kufanya maandamano ya kukutana pamoja na vile vile kupeleka kumbukumbu lakini tunasikitishwa sana na vitendo ya serikali hii kupitia kwa polisi yao tuliona polisi jambazi ambayo walikuwa maamrishwa kujitokeza kama maadui ya wa Kenya wakaanza kupigana na wa Kenya kwa njia ya kijambazi wengi ya wa Kenya wamepata majiraha wengine wamefariki kupitia kwa risasi ambayo walipigwa nayo na polisi Sisi tulikuwa tumeitisha mkutano kamkunji. Kamkunji. Pale kamkunji kwanza kamkunji hakuna biashara yoyote. Kwa hivyo kuna mtu ambaye aliharibu bidhaa au biashara ya mtu yoyote. Lakini tuliona kwa runinga askari ya polisi wakipiga risasi kwa umati mbali kwa mikutano pale kamkunji wanasema ati wanaazimio wanaharibu biashara ya watu kule kamkunji biashara ya nani ambayo ilikuwa inaharibika huko kukuta askari ya polisi akipiga risasi kwa umati ambayo imekusanyika kule kwa njia ya amani hiyo shabaha yao ilikuwa ni kuleta majiraha jiraha, au kuwa wa Kenya kiholela kule upande wa mashakos wa Kenya wengi walipigwa na polisi gine wafariki gine wamelazwa hospitali huko machakos ngine hapo hapo mlolongo kapigwa upande ile ya memeru na embu walikuwa wanafukuza watu wetu na wakitupa ile gasi ya mchozi upande ya busia mheshimiwa wa paranya alipigwa na mawe na, na majambazi wengine ambao walikuwa wamekodishwa na serikali kule upande wa sondo wale vijana majangili ambao walikuwa wamepewa wako na na mishale na nani uh, na, na mikuki wamesababisha majiraha mengi zaidi kwa watu piga watu na mishale hata kwa watu mbili ambao wamekufa huku upande wa sondo na watu karibu kumi na nane wako kwenye melazo kwenye hospitali majiraha kupitia mishale huko tunaona 
mwanzo ya yale bila ya kijambazi ambayo inaitwa ethnic clashes ikiarudi na ina, hiyo inaletwa na hii serikali bandia tumeona vitisho mingi zaidi vile wanavyoongea unatisha sisi o oh, watu watashikwa nataka karibu uchumi na, na, na kadhalika sisi tumesema wazi ya kwamba sisi tutafanya kila kitu kupitia sheria kutumia sheria hakuna maovu tumefanya na wakiona kama wanasema tumefanya maovu tumekiuka sheria tuko tayari kushikwa na kupelekwa kwa mahakamani hakuna mtu Kenya hii ambaye yuko juu ya sheria lakini hata bwana Ruto yenyewe ajui ya kwamba yeye vile vile sio juu ya sheria anatisha watu kusema ngoja ngoja mtaona kama unataka kuwa sisi si, si, sema sema tata wewe vile vile utakufa tu lakini mtu mbona anagofa kifo lakini wa Kenya wanatetea haki yao wa Kenya wana hasira kwa sababu ya haki yao ambayo imetishwa haki yao ambayo imekanyagwa na hii serikali haramu sasa mshi, o, leo wameshika mheshimiwa wa makao sahihi wameshika uparanya najua kesho watakuja kushika matha washike kalonzo washike eugene washike wairia wajakoya ledama watashika sisi zote hapa eugene lakini baada hayo kalonzo nyingine atatokea matha nyingine atatokea jini nyingine atatokea waeria hii ni kama mto nile imetoka jinja inaelekea kule bahari ya, ya, ya shamu ufanye nini huwezi kuzuia kufika huko itafika mto nile itafika bahari ya kati wapende wasipende Tumesema tumetangaza siku tano ya mwambulizi kwa wale watu wetu ambayo wamekufa na wale ambao wamepata majeraha. Kwa hivyo siku tano hizo hakuna chochote kitafanyika. Lakini tumesema Jumatano ijao tena Kenya yote watajumuika kutakuwa na kamkunji nyingine Jumatano ijayo. Wapende wasipende. Thank you, Sam.